Well, thanks for staying around and joining us once again. Uh, now we have the other half of, of the Duval team. Uh, we spoke with your wife a little bit uh, earlier, and she alluded that uh, uh, Seton Hill was a great dating service for you. Yes, pretty expensive one, but <laughs> it was good. Yeah, we met here at, back in 2004, actually in 2002. She didn't talk to me until 2004, oh. and then we got married in 2006. Wow. So, yeah. Well, That's congratulations. Great, great to... Uh, Great to meet people who have met up here on That's the hill. Right. So you are an author as well. Yes. Uh, enjoy writing, obviously. But prior to your days as an author, you uh, spent a little bit of time in professional wrestling. Is that correct? That is correct, yes. I was the Prince of Polyester. I did mostly what you would consider the minor leagues of pro wrestling in kind of Ohio, West Virginia, um, Indiana. But I was also on TV with what was then the WWF three or four times so that was a lot of fun um, could be dangerous at times depending on who you were in the ring with but I enjoyed it you were also featured in the pro wrestling illustrated magazine top 500 correct yes back in I think that was 96 I was on there just just barely made the cut but it's still um, pretty prestigious I yes guess. absolutely sure. who cares if you just barely made the yeah. cut a lot of people didn't <laughs> that's right so let's talk a little bit about your writing. What is your uh, current project? Right now I'm working on a YA story about a girl who's a senior in high school and discovers that there's an alien rock there that all the faculty fight over. Ah, interesting. And of course, he's a teacher. So he knows a little bit of something about faculty squabbles. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So who's your favorite character in the piece that you're working on right now? Well, uh, I would say probably the main character. Her name is Paige. Um, and I just like exploring how characters develop over the course of the mm -hmm. book and how they change. Does it ever shock you as you're writing a uh, direction that a character takes maybe that you hadn't planned out in the beginning? Usually it does because I'm more of a, the kind of person who tries to get like a beginning and an end and then write my way from the beginning to the end. So mm. sometimes the turns and twists along the way are a little surprising. Absolutely. So do you draw any inspiration for this character from uh, any one individual or from experiences you've gathered? Well, it's a composite of people, of course. Um, but the hardest thing, obviously, for me is writing from the perspective of a teenage high school girl. But since I teach high school, um, I do get to see that thought process in action. And you've had experience writing women because you had written women's fiction. Yes, I was. I've worked on a few um, women's fiction novels, mostly about female pro wrestlers. So combining you know, my past experiences, so it's been it's been fun. So, other than writing, do you have any other hobbies that uh, you engage in, or any skills, hidden talents? Well, if I told you about all my talents, they wouldn't be hidden anymore, so I'll keep those. <laughs> uh, my other hobbies, I like to run. Not very quickly, obviously, you can tell probably by looking at me, but I like to run. Um, and I also do martial arts. I practice Krav Maga, which is an Israeli self-defense, and then Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And your okay. wife does that My wife does she? Krav with me. She's actually probably, I don't know, she's quicker than I am, so uh -huh. I have to be careful when we're sparring. So uh, I, I'm always interested to see who writers read uh, because that maybe tells us a little bit about who oh, you sure. are. Mm -hmm. um, what, what would we find if we looked on your bookcase or, or what are you reading right now? Right now I'm reading a book called Swamplandia, uh -huh. um, which is good. The only thing that I don't like about it is there's an exclamation point in Swamplandia. So every time I read it, I think it's the end of the sentence, but it's oh, not always. <laughs> <laughs> but the book itself is good. So you would be the wrong person to do the book on tape That's right. for that. Because That's right. <laughs> yeah, your be punctuation positive. would be completely <laughs> thrown exactly, off. Exactly, yes. Um, primarily, I like to read. I mean, I've got everything Stephen King's written, but I'm a pretty eclectic reader. So. Um, also a Jane Austen fan? Because we know your wife is a huge Jane Austen fan. I do, I do like Jane Austen. Maybe not as much as my wife, but um, I really enjoyed the novel Emma. It's my favorite, I think, of the of Austin's work. I agree. Yeah. I like that one too. And Clueless was based on Clueless Emma. was based sure. on yeah. it, so yes. Mm -hmm. yep. 
Um, you know, as you're writing, uh, writers sometimes fall into a, a scene that's just really, really tough to hash out. What's the toughest scene that you've ever written? Um, in the book we were talking about earlier about my female pro wrestler, there was a scene where um, the owner of her wrestling company, who was kind of like a father figure to her, actually dies in the ring. And it was tough for me just because um, it was around the time when my father was having some health issues. So, you know, that it was tough to write. Right, exploring those cathartic feelings right. yep. in that manner, I bet. Um, you know, when we were talking to your wife, we talked about things other than, uh, than just books, other mediums that uh, people tell stories through. Uh, television or movies, which do you prefer? I would say television, um, just because I feel like there's more development opportunities there. On the other hand, the movies, mm -hmm. if you get a bad one, you don't feel like you've wasted as much of your time. <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of a 50-50, but... Yeah, when you've invested in 14 episodes right. and suddenly the arc just goes downhill yep. after that. Yep. Mm -hmm. But I, I see what you're saying. Sometimes in the movies, the characters are a little bit flat. Mm -hmm. you, you don't have the same time. Right, to, you get two and a half hours at the most. At the most. At the yeah. most. Yep. Uh, so so I, I could see television. Uh, what channel would you be tuned to if your wife doesn't have the remote control? Yeah. Usually, I, when my wife's not around, I, is when I watch all my mixed martial arts and boxing oh. shows. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, How about your little guy? Does he watch with you? He watches with me. He, he's practicing some of the jujitsu and he's so flexible that it's tough to actually get him in any holes. Because, you know, he can put his foot in his mouth, which I can't do. So that's, uh, that is movies and television. How about music? I'm pretty eclectic in music too. Um, I guess it's kind of embarrassing at my age to admit, but my favorite band is probably Motley Crue. Um, just because of the time when I was a teenager and that was like the music that I was into at that time. But, you know, I like a lot of different stuff. Sure. Um, how about celebrity crushes? Uh, Stanley Tucci is my go-to <laughs> celebrity crush. Um, but I guess there was uh, Kelly Clarkson. Oh, really? My, huh. Just because it's not even um, her looks it was her song i really liked mm. her her first hit that she had out so my wife would always say oh that's your girlfriend so, you know, <laughs> Aww, really so. that's funny so uh what does the future hold for your writing are you, are you thinking about projects past what you're working on a few things um natalie and i are actually working on some scary stories and poems for for little kids awesome. so that's a, a project we're, we've kind of got going and then you know, I, I usually don't think too far ahead of beyond what I'm writing right now as far as novel length, but you know, I have a few ideas that I'll develop later. It's great though, couples collaborating, especially couples as writers, because there's always that idea sometimes that it's either a blessing or it's a curse <laughs> that both people in the family are writing. Sure. How do you and Natalie feel about that? Um, it's, for us, it's a blessing because we both understand the process of what how it feels, like what it, it involves as far as time and, you know, if I'm talking to you while you're writing, you might not remember any of that conversation <laughs> later. So it, it alleviates some of those arguments like, you know, we talked about this, but I was writing. So, um, you know, we, it works for us. It does for us too. So your fans or, or those who are interested in learning more about you, how can they connect with you? Do you have a website, Twitter, Facebook? I use Facebook a lot, so it's... Um, the Real Doove, which is also my Twitter handle, at The Real Doove. So um, you can find me on either of those places. I also have a blog, really cranky dad, <laughs> um, dot wordpress com. Okay. So that's Matt Duval. Matt, thanks for joining us here today and telling us a little bit about uh, what you're working on and what's coming up in the future. If you'll stick with us, we'll be back in just a